the Word of God from the household of David Church. It is a message designed to raise men after God's own heart. Listen and be blessed. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you. Every time and any day, I have confidence in you, Savior. I have confidence in you. Jesus, sing with me. I have confidence in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you. Anytime and any day. Satan, you are a liar. The situations in my life will not cause me to distrust God. I trust you. You are worthy. I trust you. Go ahead and pray. You are dependable. You are dependable. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. If you speak, it is within your power to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worship it tonight, worthy is the Lamb. Let it be so. 
tonight because we believe you this is no pretense take joy my king in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound take joy my king in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. me you everything else can wait why the hurry give me you I hope I'm not too late Lord give me you Lord give me you let it be a sincere prayer tonight don't mind me I'm just worshiping you Give me you Everything else can wait Lord, give me you You are the mighty God I adore you You are the God You are the mighty God Hey, I adore you I adore God, God, the mighty God, the glory of God, God yeah. you are the glory of God, I call you the mighty God, you are the mighty God, hey, you are the glory of God, you are the glory of God, you're not wasting your time. You are the mighty God. And he loves all you. You are the glory of God. Hallelujah. Glory to be glorified. 
Father, you are worthy to overcome. You are worthy to be glorified. Get your voice and sing. You are worthy to be glorified. You are Lift a song from your spirit and just begin to exalt him. There's something God is doing in your life. Find a song by yourself. Worship. You are not wasting your time tonight. I will not call on your name and end up in shame. Our world is full of men and women whose names are not powerful. You can call the name of a senator, you can call the name of your president, but there is a name. The Bible says the name of the Lord not only has power, but is a strong tower. How can I call on your name and end up in shame? Why will I bow down before you and then bow down before a man? Down, but don't disconnect from what God is doing. If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, and if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. If it's not in your presence, there are many options, but I choose your presence. If it's not by your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. Sing it if you don't mean it. He's my everything, everything. Lord, you are everything to me. One more time, lift your voice, everything. 
the bones I have made, however I made them, and all that has taken my heart. Tonight I will lay down those idols, bones I have made, and everything that has taken your place. Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow. To no other God but you. Lord, I will worship you, Lord, I will and nothing that hands have made, nothing hands have made, but you, my Lord. Your name is called Emmanuel. 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 restoration to people here please I want you to pay attention there are people who have labored you have tried you have done all you know to do and the Lord is saying I should speak to you that the season for restoration everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen it's a prophecy for you that everything that was lost shall be returned unto you Everything that was stolen Prophesy to yourself now Everything that was lost Shall be returned unto me And everything that was Shall be restored Shall be restored unto me We prophesy Everything that was lost Shall be returned unto me Everything that was lost shall be returned. One more time. Everything that was lost shall be returned. It's a prophetic word for you. You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain, yet in this season, the Lord is filling your valley. In a way, listen carefully, we are going to sit down, but the Lord is filling your valley in a way that even you 
will know this one is the finger of God. You may not see the wind. I'm speaking to someone by the Spirit. You may not see the wind. You wouldn't know how it will happen. That overnight they will say, Is Saul also one of the prophets? How did it happen? You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain. But brothers and sisters, in this season, God is lifting men. You may not see the wind. I repeat, you may not see the rain. You may not see the person coming. Yet the finger of God, in a way that not even you can understand, will lift you in a way that will surprise everyone around you. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. I decided to take out this time to worship because... It was such an awesome time when the gentleman, I don't know him, but great man, let's honor him. Okay. Hallelujah. And I just sensed in my spirit that through that worship, I will, I will be very brief tonight, but through that worship, you see, worship is a ladder in the spirit. We can use it as a tool to accent dimensions in the spirit. Are we together? And when the spirit of worship begins to come, it invokes the spirit of prophecy too. And God must be given an opportunity to respond to his people. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here. We had a great time in Abel Kota with your pastor. Amazing man. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. And again, I'm delighted to see his lovely wife. She truly is an amazing woman of God. Let's honor her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just a few minutes and then we will pray. It's, it's a worship meeting and I, I, when I returned I was just thinking through what the Lord would have me um, tell us. One of, the, one of the side effects of truly loving God is that you are not given an opportunity to pretend. Hallelujah. I like to be myself as much as possible. And um, if the Lord is not telling me anything, I, I don't get into the pressure of trying to say God is saying this. Because if God does not direct it, He will not confirm it. And over time, when you keep saying things that God did not say, those who are listening to you will mark your word not coming to pass. And they will lose, your words will lose value before people. Hallelujah. But then the Lord put something in my heart. We are still going to worship. But um, I still sense in my spirit the Lord is lifting burdens. 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 Well, if, if this is all He does tonight, listen. Let me teach you something. And I love your pastor for this. When it when it comes to spiritual things, you must be discerning. You don't receive from God at your terms. Are we together? When you come to Him, you allow Him to be the Lord of the experience. He must coordinate how you will receive from Him. Are we together? So when you come before Him, your heart must be open very intentionally to say, Lord, however you want, just, just flow through me and let me receive. Otherwise, it's going to be a total waste of time in this place. I still say that the Lord is restoring 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 i'm seeing the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing like the vision of the axe head that fell this is what i'm seeing the axe head that fell and i'm seeing it floating back and this is a prophecy for just one person not everybody just one person. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on just that one person. I will now continue. Just that one. I know it's for everybody. You can receive by prophecy. But this word of restoration is for one person. Just one person. And, and that anointing is coming on just that one person. Just where you are seated. The Holy Spirit is, is an influence that you cannot stand. The power of the Holy Spirit, you see, is powerful. When it is when it is of the Spirit, it comes to change and to turn your life around. It's not, it's not something you are hoping will happen because it is by the Spirit. By the Spirit. Lord.
God we command restoration we shift things in their lives by prophecy and in the name of Jesus we decree it we declare it it will be like a dream it will be like a dream that's what the Lord is telling that lady it will be like a dream that I will turn your life around I will turn everything about you around Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. One of the major one of the major ministries of worship, one of the major ministries of worship among other reasons is is worship was designed as a system of invocation. Are we together? Worship is a spiritual tool that was designed to invoke the presence of God within a territory. Please follow me carefully. Let me just give us a foundation and then we'll worship some more. That worship is a system designed not just to honor God. No, that, that's wonderful. But worship was designed not just for the benefit of God alone, but the benefits of the saints. Are we together? It's a spiritual technology that was so designed by the wisdom of God to help men capture dimensions of God and to bring those dimensions within their territory. Are we together now? And, and the system of worship is such that because God reveals himself dimensionally, all of him cannot come. We don't have the capacity to host all of God. Are we together? So God by his spirit defines a dimension of himself that he wants to reveal to a people and begins to cause the worshippers to invoke that dimension through their songs. Are we together now? So if God wants to come as a healer, the Spirit of God who is at work in us both to will and then to do, will begin to guide the worshippers, if they are aligned in the Spirit, to now begin to sing songs that are within that dimension. And you find out that they begin to sing songs of healing or songs of deliverance. And then the, that dimension of God now is invoked within the atmosphere and when he comes then he begins to validate the songs because if he does not come then it means the songs are a lie every time we worship god we put pressure on his integrity to validate what we are saying we call him lord we call him healer we say we believe in you it's up to him his reputation is at stake when we worship are we together now and so there's pressure on his integrity while we worship and he's compelled to arise and to reveal that dimension to validate that he's Lord because he understands that it is not given to the natural man to worship that far is a sacrifice are we together now and so he must come within that territory to validate everything that is said Worship is a system of invocation. But I want to guide us to understand how to use worship as a tool for victory. You see, most of us know how to worship God just as a way of saying thank you, I love you, wonderful. But there is a warfare dimension of worship. That's what I want to teach you tonight. That worship can be used as an instrument, as a tool that commands victory for the saints. The Bible says, let the high praises of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands. There is a dimension of praise and worship that can be used to capture realities, to stay the hand of evil. And if that is the dimension we can trust God to reveal to us tonight, then this was a profitable meeting. Are we together? Praise the Lord. The Bible records in Second Chronicles. Let's, let's go to Second Chronicles. Solomon was about to dedicate the temple, 2 Chronicles chapter 6. 2 Chronicles chapter 6. Is God helping someone tonight? 2 Chronicles chapter 6. Verse 40. Now, this is Solomon. Okay, it's projected. We are reading right to chapter 7 and verse 3. Solomon is dedicating the temple now. Are we together now? 
he's built the temple and he's about to dedicate the temple and the bible says that before this would happen when you read the previous verses the altar already had a sacrifice upon it this is the protocol this is the system are we together you never will invoke his presence to come within a territory where there is no sacrifice so there was first a sacrifice and then solomon said now my god let i beseech thee let thy eyes be open and thy ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place now therefore arise O god listen carefully are you seeing how a man is invoking the presence of god arise from where you are and come to your resting place i have mimicked the throne room within this environment so you can feel free to live where you are and come and feel like you are still in the throne room because i have been able to create a similitude of the throne room through my sacrifice now oh god feel comfortable to arise and still come to the meeting and you will not feel strange the same kind of worship that is being instituted in the throne room i have by sacrifice been able to reproduce it within my sphere now arise O lord come into your not our church your resting place thou and the ark of thy strength let thy priest O lord be clothed with salvation and thy saints rejoice in your goodness it says, O oh Lord, turn not away from the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, your servant. 7 verse 1. The Bible says, Now, when Solomon had met the end of praying, what happened? The fire came down from heaven and consumed. The glory had not come. The fire came first. The fire came down and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and then the glory the shekinah the very glory of the lord filled the house verse 2 and the priests could not enter into the house of the lord because the glory filled the house the glory fills a room that physically it can block a human being from entering are we together now verse 3 it says when the children of israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the lord upon the house they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshipped and praised the lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever there is a spiritual system that makes our worship both acceptable and profitable are we together that singing is only a very minute part of what we call worship and if we do not understand that system we will spend time calling upon the lord being tired fagged out and never have a testimony of his presence the bible lets us know that every time notice the progression whenever the glory of the lord is about to be revealed in a place the fire of his presence precedes the glory it comes searching is there a sacrifice in that place and here's what the bible says in romans chapter 12 and verse 1 the bible says i beseech thee brethren listen careful it says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer what so that sacrifice that the fire falls upon Paul says is now you not something you prepare not something you bring out of your offering your pockets to put in a basket that that sacrifice when the fire comes is not seeking for money is seeking for men I beseech you brethren by the mercies of God that he offer your not just your spirit your bodies a living sacrifice he calls it holy and acceptable and he calls that act of offering your body an acceptable service some versions say your reasonable worship so the first dimension of worship is not singing it's not coming to church it's not playing instruments it's a determination within your spirit that my life must be on that altar first your songs are useless when your life is not on the altar are we together now there are many people who sing and the fire comes keeps moving round 
and there is no sacrifice upon the altar but there are songs there's keyboard playing there's drums playing people are kneeling and shouting and the fire is saying where is the sacrifice where is the sacrifice because when there is a sacrifice then the glory follows the protocol is the 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 sacrifice then the fire then the glory then from that glory all kinds of things begin to happen are we together it is not the song then the keyboard then the instrumentation then the tears then the hope then the disappointment and nothing happens sacrifice sacrifice that you come to a point where you say lord much more than my singing i have come to a point where my life must become a living sacrifice a living sacrifice a living sacrifice then the bible says when your life is a living sacrifice then your words your songs will now become like a calf too it no longer will become music the bible says to offer unto god the calves of our lips not the songs of our lips the calves like the the high priest who have a calf he said when you are singing is the same thing as cutting the animal in the old testament but only when you are a living sacrifice are we together now let me tell you this brothers and sisters if worship does not change you then you did not worship are we together now something about worship must kill something within you and resurrect another dimension within you that is proof that he came something about you must die in worship and another dimension of resurrection must start in worship for it to truly be worship you cannot claim his glory showed up and then you were there singing and crying and you get up and nothing is left behind it's impossible when you burn something no matter what it is there must be ashes as a testament that something was once there you can't get up and no 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 when you are in that presence many things are happening through the songs the spirit of god is creating new resolutions within you you are sitting down and your life is being redefined no one is preaching but the spirit of god is ministering to you no there are some relationships i must cut off there are some things that just one song one line of a song is ministering to you much more than a, a sermon that's worship something is happening between you and god i beseech thee brethren that if you want to do business with god and host his glory the first assignment is to offer your bodies your bodies you know most times when we worship god we want to see his power we want to see his glory we want to see all kinds of miracles god is not a herbalist there is a system only dead men can carry him you see if you are alive in yourself you do not sustain the power to host his glory the sacrifice that sacrifice that sacrifice the bible tells us let's look at one scripture we're going to pray shortly the bible tells us um in the book of matthew let's look at matthews there, there, there are many synoptic variations but let's look at matthew matthew 26 and verse 7 uh, i believe i'm right yes the bible says that a woman a very strange woman in fact i think is the account of of luke or mark that says that woman was a sinner are we together now the bible says that whilst jesus was having dinner there came unto him a woman having a an alabaster box listen carefully the bible tells us that that box was of very precious ointment in fact one of the versions say it was made of pure nerd it was worth a year's wages now that's a lot of money talk to me nigerians one year salary that's a lot of money no matter what it is are we together and the bible says that the woman came in fact um this version does not give me what i'm looking for the bible says she broke it broke it not poured small poured small is a scam you plan to hide some the bible says she broke it at his feet and then used her hair which is the glory of a woman to now begin there was a relationship between the sacrifice the hair her tears 
And the Bible says, while she cleaned his feet, the ignorant scribes and the disciples said, Ah, this is wastage. I say, you would have given to the poor. Sold that thing and given to the poor. And Jesus rebuked them. He said, don't, don't do that. This woman is teaching you people a principle. She's showing you a way to access my glory. That she came with all that she had. A representation of her sweat, her value, her life. And say, Lord, you are not just worth my songs. You are worth my life. The jealousy of God will not accept anything that is not total. You see, the jealousy of God is an important part of him we must understand. Fight any reservation you keep. Who then is worthy of the rest that you are hiding? So when God comes and you take part and say, Lord, let me give you this. He says, okay, I see you giving me your finances. I see you giving me this, but I don't see this. So who then is worthy? It's not pride. He searched the earth and found out there was none greater than him. And so when you break your alabaster box, you come before him just as you are and say, Lord, I don't just want to sing. I am offering my life. Lord, take this field. Lord, take this. I am someone who loves you, but I have struggles that are even embarrassing me. It's a corruption to my Christian testimony. But you see, there is a difference between a sinner and a rebel. The difference is that one runs away from God while another comes to God. God never drove sinners. Are we together? That you come to him and say, Lord, there is something in me. There is, there is a weight. There is, there is something that corrupts my Christian testimony. Lord, I love you with all my heart, but this issue of women is, is embarrassing me and I'm not ashamed. I come before you with everything. You are the only one who can help me. He sang a beautiful song. I can't remember the song, but what a powerful song it was. That song shifted something in my spirit. Lord, I love you, but this issue of joblessness, I've done the best I know to do. You are, I bring before you everything. And you bring your life with it and present it. And the fire falls. When the fire falls, you lose trust in those things and say, Lord, I lift up my eyes to the hills. I've been disappointed at my intellect and everything, but I come to you in reality. Now you make room for the glory. Here he comes through your worship. Your songs now become genuine because they are a derivative of death. They are not, you are not just singing because you are helping to recite something that uh, you are being called for worship. No. And do you know, under that atmosphere, you don't sing what you want. He now begins to give you the songs to sing. And sometimes even the songs you wrote will not bless you. It may be one line of an old song somewhere. That's the only song that can capture what the Spirit is speaking at that point. You can sing. You may not remember all the songs, but just one line. And you keep singing it like a fool. And people are saying, oh God, change song now. I'm not participating in your worship, but change song. And you are not you are not trying to be nice. Yes, you wore a nice shoe and a nice this, and you don't even know when you turned in a position that ordinarily you would not have turned. Your leg is up, your head is down, you are crying. You have become a sacrifice indeed because your reputation died in that worship. Is God speaking to us? Then and only then will He come. God doesn't just come just because you are born again. He comes in his majesty. And when he comes, it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. When a man comes to meet his wife, he leaves her with something. There is a deposit. Are we together now? From that intercourse, listen carefully, every other thing becomes automatic. She is shocked that all of a sudden her appetite started changing. The things she would want to eat now is changing. Ah, what is wrong with me? All of a sudden, she would want to move with people, but now she wants to walk alone. She has been implicated by an intercourse. This is what worship is. So when you come before his presence, you should leave pregnant with something. In two weeks, in one month, we should start seeing an evidence. All of a sudden, the friends call you and you say, it's one month I came to house of David. Something shifted. Ordinarily, I would not get up in the night, but because of something that entered me, 
now i can wake up 1 a.m on the dot without alarm something wakes you what is that something you see that and he begins to move you and speak to you and does something to your ears washes your eyes with eye salve and you begin to understand the things of the spirit listen brothers and sisters if this is not captured in your experience no matter what song you sing you are not worshiping a worshiper is not a musician a worshiper is not a singer a worshiper is one who understands the dynamics of hosting god if you cannot do that you are not a worshiper singing is only a spiritual instrument to us to help you ascend that ladder but much more than that the foundation of true worship is a the willingness to die to get to that realm called galatians 2 20 that have been crucified with christ in experience a lot of people come before god they worship for hours and go back and after service they just say ah how was the service ah powerful that guy can sing oh. and you watch the person no pregnancy you were not a bride you certainly it wasn't god that came there because if god comes something must shift in your life look at what the bible did with worship that people can be worshiping and god is somewhere winning battles the warfare dimension that when when the nation the nation of israel was surrounded by all kinds of enemies three kings arose the people began to sing and notice they didn't sing what they wanted the formula was given to them you are good and your mercy endures forever and all of a sudden the other side of worship is victory they were not seeing it but they knew something was happening and two enemies which foolish man goes for war with gold in his pocket are we together now and they began to kill themselves and the bible records that the last few helped to kill one another the last person killed himself and left the gold there and when they got there god said no 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 you can't walk twice if you've done one in my presence then the other one is done listen brothers and sisters i show you a route to hosting the glory of god and the power of god you can find out that when you worship truly at the end of it you will check the fibroid is gone nobody prayed something happened you see that when the fire comes the fire doesn't just burn you the fire burns everything that is not god whatever remains is the part of god in you when that fire comes it burns every pride it burns every dross that's why sometimes a song can be raised and you want to sing and the spirit says keep quiet that's your own worship you don't sing you just let your ears do the worship while you hear the words the spirit of god is ministering you want to join but there is a restraint and then you can keep quiet for 30 minutes afterwards the holy spirit will just lead you to take one song on your knees and that's where the miracle comes a living sacrifice i'm giving you a piece of my secret place this is what i do i don't just play songs and go before god and dance foolishly and off it and go out and no no i go with an intention to be changed with an intention lord i have come before you they call me apostle joshua selman but this is a worshiper coming before you and you stay until something begins to happen to you and then you see when you come out of that worship when people have exhausted a dimension in you you come out with a level of freshness another dimension you met him the pregnancy within you shows it's an evidence and pe before people exhaust one dimension they lift up their heads and see another dimension ever fresh the secret is that secret place of the most high worship pastor our generation can pray but we don't understand worship are we together there is a dimension remember when you got into the second phase of the tabernacle you would meet the seven candlesticks the incense of prayer but much more than that there was a deeper realm 
So if all you do is just pray in tongues, pray and ask, Oh God, I've been warning you, change my story. I've, I've told you this thing. I'm, you know, I'm, what kind of thing is this? I'm, I'm t- is it that I'm not your son? And, and we, we quarrel God, we, we, we make a mess of ourselves. And when we finish, we just come out and say, Amen. And you, you, you convince yourself that you touch heaven. No. Most of, most answered prayers is just the mercy of God because we are doing many wrong things. If you learn to stay, the staying power of worship, you stay till he comes, not till you are tired. You see, let me tell you, the hardest thing for the flesh to do is to stay quiet in God's presence. You try it. You can stand before a shop that sells minerals for one hour and not be tired. You are looking at minerals, you take one, you eat bones and stay, but let a song of worship rise for five minutes, your flesh is fighting, itching, I want to go. The secret is to keep it there. There is something that that experience is doing. You see that? That's why many of us don't hear God. The flesh is busy. There are so many things. You just sit down there and one song and you are thinking, "Ah, ah, I didn't send the SMS. Will you send me that money at all? You see, that's the devil. That's the devil. It's the devil. He's trying to distract you. For your name is holy. And all of a sudden, ah, my wife, what are we going to eat today? Can you really help from that position where you are? It's just the flesh. The flesh fights the presence of God. Let me tell you this. Satan, you've heard me say it in my teachings. Many people say Satan is afraid of the presence of God. It's not true. Go and read your Bible. There's nothing like that. Satan has never been afraid of the presence of God. Jesus is fasting for 40 days and his fasting invites Satan. Satan comes after 40 days. He's standing before him. You thought he would shake. Satan says, ah, Jesus, you mean you finished? Why don't you turn this? This, this is, he's talking. The word is talking back. Satan is replying the word. In the book of Job, the sons of God were together. Satan, in that fallen state, still came. Have you considered my servant Job? You thought you would shake because of the glory. No. The presence of God doesn't scare Satan. It is the man that comes from the presence that scares Satan. It is not the presence of God. It is the man that stays in that presence. When you stay in that presence and come out, there is something about that presence you carry. There is something that it does to Satan. So the devil knows that if you stay in this worship, it has a relationship with the job you are looking for. So he said, Kai, let me just go. I'll come for tomorrow's service and you prolong something that should happen next week. You make it December 2021. Whereas worship, one, when you stay in the presence, let me tell you, when Satan starts making you uncomfortable, it's a sign that something is moving in the spirit. He doesn't have that kind of time to waste. Worship has monetary value. Worship has destiny value. When you know it, you will never call it a waste. They call her act of worship a waste of money. It can be a waste of anything. There are people who may think it's a waste of time. You mean you just come to church to sing? Are we together? Worship is powerful. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, and I admit to you, There are many battles in my life that I did not even know they were battles. Because whilst worship was going on, the fire of God was settling things up and down. You need it for your business. Carry your business and enter the ark of worship with it. Don't leave it outside. That's where your headache is coming from. Carry that business in your mind and say, Lord, I can't worship you and my business is outside. I bring it to. Lord, we carry every challenge and everything and we bring before you. And whilst you worship, when the fire comes, it comes on everything. By Monday, someone calls you and says, I've been looking for you. And you know you didn't pray about that issue. Something happened in worship. You believe what I'm telling you? Brothers and sisters, if you believe this, your life will surprise you. You will live as if Satan does not exist. Cheap victories. This worry is why we don't worship. Some of you, as you are standing here now, you are saying, Oh Lord, let somebody, let's talk about my rent. But let's be honest. Do you believe that by worrying, rent will be paid? 
the landlord is coming in any way in, in any case so it's better to stay in the presence of god and then you watch god arise now you don't need to know how it will happen this is god we are talking about when you bring god into any equation the calculation changes one anything plus god is equal to the answer he wants anything zero plus god can be equal to one million depending on what he desires when you bring god into the equation he changes everything is god speaking to us tonight because i want to take a few minutes and then we will worship god but i want us to worship intentionally so that while satan is telling you ah you know that this this you need to raise money where will you buy the new car now are you not tired of that sound instead of hearing the holy ghost you are hearing the, the sound of your car and you leave it there carry the car with you to the presence lord i'm worshiping you i bring all my pain and you roll that pain away brothers and sisters when the fire comes and the glory comes upon it you will rise up with a strategy call a b c and you can call ah, uncle god bless you say do you know i just had a dream about you yesterday um come and meet me in my office they know not neither will they understand the bible says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course we reign in the kingdom this kingdom not just based on what we want based on the truths that we are aware of are we together now worship worship not just singing but an instrument of invoking god's presence if you can get god to show up where you are then you are safe if he can't show up you are in trouble no matter how you convince yourself that you are all right you are still in trouble my assignment as a person is to leave god face to face with my challenges and i know that i've entered rest because when god comes everything that does not look like him must give way he's an expert in that by my strength i do not have the power to win those battles but i know how to bring those battles to him i invoke his presence i call him and i love the yoruba people because you see down north we don't have too much um we our, our, our language cannot give us the kind of articulateness that we need but in the Yoruba language, it's amazing. You can call God. One word can mean many things. You're going to use that advantage tonight. Some of you have to call him a name you called. The last time you called that name was when you were seven years. Remember it again. It's the name you called to get admission. When you graduated, you left the name because you are looking for a job. Tonight, you have to call that name again. You say, Lord, I remember when I called that name, you came and you showed up. Is God speaking to us tonight? House of David, hear me. I can tell you this. You know, those of you who follow our ministry, I had an encounter about a month or three weeks ago, a month, and I was just lying down, pastor, on my bed, and my pillow, I just saw written on it, the lifter of men. That's what I saw there. Usually God gives me messages by just writing it somewhere. Sometimes it just comes to my spirit. But when God has to write it out, then I take it serious. The lifter of men. And the anointing of the spirit is wherever his word is. Not the word written in scripture. His speakings, the present truth now. So God begins to tell you, look, I am lifting men. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come of the sudden lifting it's okay if you already have an uncle it's just that god has not spoken to him you are closer to the miracle but the one that doesn't have any uncle anybody anywhere all of a sudden you hear that he got up with two three jobs where did it come from tonight i'm giving us a theme for worship the lifter of men we are worshiping tonight unto that end that lord you can change my story is it not the bible says withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power do not say to him go today and come tomorrow many of you are in lagos here but you have not eaten the riches of this land 
Someone will come with the mystery from somewhere and walk in the abundance of it. I want you to be angry tonight as we worship. There is something from God that you need. That grace for lifting, if that can land tonight in this place, then it was profitable for you. One victory after another. Pastor, in my little life, I've seen what God can do. When, when God gets up from his throne to bless you, he zooms his attention on you, you will fear God. You won't just praise him, you will fear him. He will do it in a way that you say, God, what is this? I, I'm lifting you. Not even you will stop me. I have chosen. Jacob have I loved. You have done something to me. Doesn't take so long for God to lift your business. Listen, most people think men of God don't know anything about business. You know, when we talk like this, you say, ah, just keep your preaching there and let me. What, what do you think ministry is? What is a customer that God cannot bring? Are we together? When you try it in the flesh and it does not work, leave the flesh. Come to the altar of worship and say, Lord, there's got to be a way. I came tonight to provoke that spirit of lifting. Anything that is alive grows. My God is the lifter of men. I don't know about your God, but my God, many of you have come past this mountain long enough. The truth is, it's not like you are failing, but you know honestly, you have been at the same level for a long time. You can't give, you can't sow, because all you have is, is all upper. There's got to be something in your life and my life. If I look at my life in two weeks, one month, there is no change. I will go for a retreat. Something is wrong. Some of us, no favor. Nobody has thought about you this year. It's a, it's a cause for concern. Don't say I'm doing well. Let me tell you this. Favor is not money. You can have money and not have men. Favor is when God provokes men to arise for you. David was in a cave called Adulam. David was a worshipper. Men arose and came to that cave. There's no need for packaging. They came as dirty as he was. Say, we have come to make you king. Who is showing up in your life to say, I must stand by you till you succeed? Nobody. We have tried human connections. We have tried everything. But tonight, I'm calling us to a realm where we can access sheep victory that as you are rolling on the floor you are not just rolling foolishly you are saying lord i'm rolling away my pain i'm tired of this i graduated 12 years no job am i cost what is this and all of a sudden god says this is for me let the fire come i would have given you a job but i see pride let the fire edit that pride now my glory comes and and then let's see who will not give you that job we work so hard that's why we don't give god the glory the way we walk we just say lord i praise you but the truth is we are not praising him we suffered so much for that breakthrough we just say i praise you just so that we don't feel guilty i'm sorry if i'm a bit harsh tonight but i just want to push you it's because i love you i want us to receive something Pastor, you will see the kinds of testimonies that will come out of House of David. Not, not, I was promoted. That, uh, well, it's a testimony, but I'm talking of someone who says, I was sitting down and someone was going abroad and said, can you manage my company? And you sit down and say, no, I, I, I didn't go to school. He said, that's not the issue. Can you answer A and B? I saw you in a dream and the Lord said you are the person. There are testimonies that should be so strange that even a non-believer will say, I'm going to your church. I must go to your church. Whatever they are giving you in that church, I want it to. When your testimonies are not notable, they open up for, for unbelief, persecution and all of that. God in this season is lifting men, house of David. Yes. 
I have prayed this in my life. I know this is where the anointing of the Spirit is. The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the time. Why is God lifting men? Of course we know this. Because the body of Christ needs the requisite influence. There are two ways to advance the kingdom. One is evangelism. The second is influence. Evangelism without influence will still keep the church victimized. So God is accelerating this lifting. There are, there are systems where the church must pay. And if you are to be promoted three years per lifting, your life is too, you will retire and never rise anywhere. And God is saying, I want to give you speed. Like I did to Elijah. The Bible says Elijah began to run and overtook the chariots of Ahab. Lifting. I believe this. I'm, I'm preaching to myself as I'm talking to you. I know God is the lifter of men. As you worship him tonight, don't let the devil intimidate you. Keep all your business papers one side and say, Lord, if, if it is true that you are the lifter of men, show up for me. Show up. But listen, the fire must come and pull a lot of things. Because there are many of us, we cannot rise the way we are now. There is pride, there is flesh, there are all kinds of things. That's why the fire precedes the glory. So whilst you worship, the fire of God will come. For some of us, God is going to be talking to you. Work on your character, your prayer life. God cannot lift you because your prayer life cannot accommodate the kind of persecution that will come at that lifting. So his mercy will make him leave you at that level. Because if you are lifted, you do not have the spiritual fortification to stand the attacks that come at that level. So he will keep you down. But then you receive of him tonight the spirit of prayer and supplication. And he says, now you can rise. Ah! I like to hear testimonies of people that God changed their lives. Not the, I don't care what the detail is. But the fact that my God can pick people. My God can pick people. Look at my life. Let me tell you, if you don't believe God lifts people, you will suffer in this life. You will never give the glory to God. Take your eyes away from some of these vain human connections. I've been calling my uncle, he's not listening. Is your uncle your savior? The Bible says, vain is the help of man. All blessings come from God. It just passes through men. When you want to make it from men, you are in trouble already. It's God himself that will fight you for giving his position to someone else. Please let me speak to us business people and those who want to rise in the position of influence, finance and all of that. Tonight I want to call you to that realm. Are we together? Of worship. Where you can arise. Some of you here, just like our brother here, are worship ministers. You see, let me tell you, the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. I have seen people who are not the best, but they tapped into this mystery. And even them, they are wondering, what am I doing here? Because everybody who is in this realm has a legitimate reason. Some of them is age. Some of them is academic qualification. What am I doing in their midst? And God said, my grace. Since you knew that I can pick people, I picked you and I brought you there. Enough of this, this, analog system of rising you will never give god glory that way no sir who has ever had this pastor that in one day a woman can give birth he said but as soon as zion travails there's never been to, no one has said in your family at 27 a car a house who dash monkey banana you say hold on god says let me use you to prove a point that i am alpha i am omega i can do as i please because you see let me tell you something we're going to pray there are people who have pegged god at a dimension and created a theology of limitation that god can only bless someone after five years and so sometimes your spirit is telling you but god can accelerate my life but you you are you are you are being careful like elihu so you don't look like you're a small child you don't know anything god you can be sitting here today and by next week sunday not friday you will enter this church with tears and say pastor look at my life what happened if you don't believe this you will never see it never see it but if you believe it with me then i let's let's trust god tonight and say father it is true that you are lifting men in worship change my life 
Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us? Lagos is a place of abundance. Lagos is a place of plenty. Lagos is a place of lifting. Many of you have tried even what was supposed to work well. When it gets to you, it scatters. Go to the place of worship. That frustration will kill you. Is why many people don't come to church again, Pastor. Because they think, ah, this church thing, I'm tired. I hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit let's challenge the spirit of unbelief i know my god is able i know my god is alive i know my god is able come on house of david my god is alive god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent my God is not a man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. Pray. on you the author the finisher of every ministry every business every career every family pray You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Hallelujah. We are praying, Father, let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life, take it away. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is a threshing floor. It's a place whereby His Spirit is building us. Lord, take away everything. The weight that easily besets me, take it away. All that robs me from reflecting you. The carnality, the flesh, the pride, everything, everything, the love. Take it by your fire. Let your fire come upon my life. Let your fire come upon my business. Let your fire come upon my ministry. Let your fire come upon everything. Everything. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, please take this prayer seriously. God is changing your life. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I vow that in my lifting you will be glorified. You see, let me tell you, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
it's easy to say lord give me car give me tea give me bread but there are many of us who were tested with certain things and your heart went away from god and god says no it is profitable that i keep you here i like you to pray and say father for as long as i live my life my wealth my increase the ministry the anointing will bring you glory can you open your mouth and pray oh it's for your glory the millions and the billions is for your glory the influence is for your glory the open doors in ministry in life in business make sure you are praying for your glory Hey <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, many years ago the Lord spoke to me. Then I was nothing, nobody knew Joshua Selman for anything. And the Lord told me something. He said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I thought it was a joke. If you will let men see me. There are many of us, the reason why we may never rise to certain dimensions is because there is an obsession to be at the center stage. I shared in Abel Kuta yesterday that everything that is glorious hides behind the veil. Are we together? When Rebecca was coming to meet her husband Isaac, as soon as she saw him, she covered herself because she was a woman of glory. When all of you is open to everybody, you are cheap. There is a part of you that must be behind the veil. Are we together? That obsession to be known is why many of us are not known. Some of you may see us walk and come in, ah, the men of God, and you just admire these things, and your heart is already corrupted from the beginning. There's nothing wrong with honor, except that your, your love for God and your desire to see His kingdom come must supersede your desire for fame. Listen carefully. It's true. There are so many people who have all it takes to rise, but it's the hand of God keeping them there. Because their motives are so corrupt, the love of God would dare not let them rise. But if you can let the whole world see and know that there is nothing in this person, all that I am is because of all that he is. And God says, you are doing this for me. You have the opportunity to take everything and you say, Lord, it's your soul. And God says, if that is the case, then I'm ready to lift you to another dimension. Hallelujah. Pray one last prayer and then we'll worship for a few minutes. I'll pray for you. We'll be very brief. We'll round off here now. But I want you to pray this prayer. And say, Father, the challenges that stand before me, that are frustrating my focus, the focus that I need to give to my spiritual work, could be financial, could be academic, could be family. I bring them to the altar of worship tonight and I ask that your fire will fall on them. Lift your voice and pray. I bring before you my pain. I bring before you everything. Go ahead and pray. I bring before you everything. Everything. The Bible says be anxious for nothing. It says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says make your request known. 
don't keep it silent make your request known lord if you arise for me in this area it will give me room to serve you if you arise for my husband my wife my church my business my ministry please help that woman This world will come to do Casting ground Lifting head Bowing heart This world will come One more time, casting ground Casting ground Like the twenty and four elders Lifting head Bow my heart Bowing heart what I've come to do We will rise We will rise Hallelujah In your name worship him hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me that could not save listen to what you are saying help that person please please help them you are the reason Hallelujah. You have won the 
is the lamb that was slain, the Bible says, to receive for us blessing and honor and riches and power and glory. That means nothing can hold you down to it. You are the reason in majesty. Tonight I challenge my faith to rise. Let go, rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let go, rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time. Let you stand in your life brothers and sisters and the devil will take your eyes away from God see the bills see the pain see the joblessness but when you come into atmospheres of worship like this you say Lord the Bible says they looked on to him they looked on to him that's the key they looked on to him they looked on to him they looked on to him the devil will distract you with pain that sickness eating your body but they looked on to him the Bible says and their faces were lightened let us 
king be lifted up let his name be lifted up let help that lady your praise be lifted up of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain come on lift your voice out of David prophesy prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound don't be silent don't be tired you are commanding victories in the spirit We decree it in the name of Jesus. Here are these worship and miracles. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of finances. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of sickness. For when God shows up, everything that is not Him must give way. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Many of you are shifting things in the spirit. That is God for you. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is set to. It's not a special number. Listen to what you are saying. Forever. Forever. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. 
your word concerning my victory, your word concerning my lifting. Not the recession will stop it. Not the hatred of men can stop it. So I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Jesus, that you can change our lives. That you can change and shift our destiny. That you can bring new anointings in our ministry. Yes, Lord, we believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Yesterday, the Lord did mighty things in Abel Kota, and one of it that touched me so much, not many of you were there, but whilst i was ministering by the spirit the lord brought forth a few women and two of them very strangely one of the women had been barren for 23 years 23 years another friend that she invited from lagos here am i right pastor 27 years a combination of 50 years two women now if all you pray for them for is to have a child you still cheated them 27 years now the bible says if a thief be caught you don't return what you stole because while you stole it someone suffered something so you return plus the interest that matches the time wasted are we together we're about to pray i we will soon round up please be patient with me there are things that the devil has taken some of us years have been eating from our lives you are not where you should be now I, i'm not trying to condemn you but it's not a lie are we together now you went to school at 25 you graduated at 33 you got a job at 41 when will you retire but there is a system in the kingdom Hi that overnight the rod of a priest boarded it is not normal for trees to go no 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 the sequence is that it starts coming out gradually and will take two or three years but in the presence of god a rod not connected to a root all of a sudden boarded how many of you believe here that god in one month can compress something that that would have been we are going to sing this song again and while you sing it i'd like you to see strange liftings that you stand here to testify and your testimony is this they say talk now you say I, i'm trying to i'm trying to look what god did in my family in one month listen there are people who should not have one child alone the time they've, they've spent is too long you should have at least twins or triplets there are people who should not just have a job a job of hundred thousand after 20 years of waiting that's not a testimony that god will shift you in a way and manner there are people here you are supposed to have been in ministry since the last 10 years you should have been in dimensions but something happened and the devil stole years i like you to pray and say father every year it must be recovered i'm leaving nothing to satan it is within your power come on house of david we are rounding up lord let there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate the years the palmer worm ate there must be a restoration of every fortune a restoration of every lifting a restoration by the spirit of the living god
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the Lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song. I'm not Yoruba, but the song is in Yoruba. And I just want you to keep quiet. The Lord said, as the, whoever is going to be singing it, an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery. I don't know the song. Oh, I'm just someone who just had God. Go ahead, my dear. That's what the Lord told me. And as we begin to sing this song, He's stepping into people's situation. I want you as you are as you are singing this song, see Jesus stepping in into your family. Jesus, the Son of the Living God, walking into your life finally, walking into your disappointment. Please help those under the anointing. Jesus is stepping in in this auditorium. Jesus. Now I'm going to begin to pray. We are rounding up. Jesus. Please help those under the anointing now. You don't have to bring them out. It's, our time is already gone. Jesus. Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now. Walking into this auditorium. Jesus is walking into this auditorium. The Lord is replacing all kinds of things. Body parts. The healing power of Jesus. Touching people. There are restorations coming now. Restorations. Please help them. Just help them. We can't bring them out because of time. But the anointing of the Spirit is touching you right where you are. Right where you are. It's over. It's over. The Spirit of God is saying it's over. You will not cry forever. It's over. 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 I command every spirit of infirmity to go now. Please help this lady, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every devil of infirmity to leave God's people now. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm praying. The Lord is healing people right now. Mama, I'm seeing an anointing touching you. You have pain around your back and your hand here. Is that true, man? There's no mic. But just please just give me three minutes. Hallelujah. Our mother here, I, I don't know how. Mama, is it true? How is it working? Very true, sir. How, how, I'm seeing pains around your hand and then it comes to your back here. Yes. Sometimes when you bend down, you cannot even feel any. I mean, the pain is severe. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, in this atmosphere of worship, help her. I bring you the anointing. Mm. Watch what is happening to our mother. I correct that imperfection now by the Spirit of the Living God. Mama, look at me. Come. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do you feel any pain, Ma? Check yourself. Look at that. Any pain, Ma? It's disappeared. Completely. Look at this. I don't know this uh, mother. This is a mother. This is not a young person that will lie and pretend to you. This is a symbol. You saw how it just left in a fraction of a second. That's the way some of you will go back home. And it will surprise you. I'm not motivating you. It's true. You will go back and be surprised. Some of you, after this service, you will see missed calls on your phone. And call and know that those people have no business calling you. But while you were worshipping, my mind, the name of Jesus, may the Lord preserve you. By His anointing, preserve you by His Spirit. I'm rounding up. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the Lord move in the area of career. I'm standing here. We're rounding up. You have worshipped. Let God just respond to us. 
and I'm stretching my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on a few people and if that anointing touches you something about your career life will shift in a way that will surprise you and therefore Lord I stretch my hands from the north to the south of this auditorium as I'm stretching my hands the anointing of the spirit is touching people now increase in career now now I'm walking around that's the instruction the spirit of God is giving me I stretch my hands help them Shakotosia, I shift you, I shift you, I shift you, I shift you in your career. It's time to move to a higher pedestal, right to the back. I shift you. Help this woman, please. I shift you. Help those, please help those people there. I shift you in the name of Jesus. Soketos Katabariata. It's time to reap the evidence of his presence. I shift you by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Step into the next level of your career. Step into the next level. I don't care who is standing your way. I shift you by the Spirit. I shift you by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Listen. There are people here. You are gifted but something has covered your glory. Listen. You stand in the midst of those who should help you. But they, you are gifted musicians. You are gifted business people. But every time you stand before your destiny helpers, they have no eyes to see. There was an anointing that came upon Hadassah Esther. The Bible says everyone who looked upon her, once you made contact with her, listen, it doesn't take many men to lift you. Just one right destiny helper. Are we together? Some of the liftings that God has brought in my life is not because I qualified for it. What's wrong with him? Hold on, sir. You're not feeling fine. What's the issue? You, you, you need this to work. Sir. Sir. Look at me, sir. I'm a man of God. I'm not a herbalist. I'm saying it in the open, in the presence of everybody. Yes. You believe in Jesus Christ? Yes. You believe in the anointing He has given yes. me? Yes. Sir, look at me. Leave this thing. Walk. Go. Walk. Go. Walk. Come. Look at this. Come on, house of David. Just walk. Look at, look at, look at. Look at ah. Look at this Come daddy Come. Don't be afraid You will not fall There is a power that keeps you In the name of Jesus Look at this Look at this Look at this Look at Our daddy is crying Look at this Oh my God ah. Forever Oh Lord Help that lady Help that lady There is an anointing My God Pastor something is happening in your church tonight Forever Oh Lord Thy word is set to Forever Look at our daddy cry my word is settled. Listen, if there is anyone here, I'm seeing like veils on people. I'm about to release you. Listen, many of you will be surprised what will happen to you from this prayer. Someone who has no business, sir. I don't know who you are. This man, this man, come, sir. What do you do? I'm seeing light from you and this. Who is this lady to you? This one sitting close to you. Your wife, come. I'm seeing light leaving you to her. God is about to change you. I don't know what. Please stand up, sir. I don't know what church or ministry you represent. But as you stood there, I looked at you and I saw you trying to climb the ladder. But it breaks and keeps bringing you down. Nobody lifts himself in this kingdom. Are we together now? Sir. You will never forget this day that here at House of David, I don't know you, I don't know if Pastor knows you, but Madam, I want you to mark this prophetic word. The Lord will shift you and your husband in ways that will surprise you. Receive that grace. 
receive that grace my dear in the name of jesus hold my hand sir a new dimension of signs and wonders a new dimension of grace in the name of jesus i decree and declare we call forth from the north the south the east and the west all that should be part of what you are doing in the name of jesus christ hallelujah pastor i'm seeing you rise to the new a new level you this is what i'm seeing in the spirit i'm seeing you rise in the spirit in a way i don't know what this means but i'm seeing you climb a ladder every time god is showing me people who are lifted i see them climb a ladder who is this please ah uh, daddy you came with him sir you came on your own okay okay don't, don't worry you don't have to come out but you are an elderly man let's honor you yes sir what what's the issue sir attack up to today so, attacking your body yes i would if i if i sleep i would be standing. come up sir ha. are you with him you are his wife come madam please i know that this may not be the church protocol pastor please just 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 permit me let's this is these are elderly people let's honor them what's the issue madam he has stroke since 2012 we have not been having rest in the house he will be having heaviness in his body yes it's not stroke it's witchcraft a stroke ah no this this one daddy yes. you have come here to house of david yes. and i want you to know yes. that in the name of this is not any stage manage this is not a herbalist shrine what you see here is what the god of heaven is doing i ask you to come up so that everybody will watch what will happen to you Amen. you see sir madam not only will the lord heal your husband god is going to restore the finances of your family i've seen that money does not stay in your hand at all nothing not it's true this is what i'm saying and i'm seeing you sir you are lying down and you are having a dream it's like somebody is oppressing you in a dream yes i'm eating this is what i'm saying sometimes they chase you i'm seeing a time they hit you with something like a stick in a dream and when you got up you started feeling pain in your back this this is what i'm saying as i'm talking to you now there is something that moves from your back it comes to your front down to your leg and keeps going down this one is not the making of god listen jesus is not theology jesus is alive are we together every situation in our lives is relative to the anointing that confronts it just because it was confronted and was not solved does not mean it cannot be solved are you seeing some of the benefits of worship you are not just watching a man of god display an anointing something is growing in your own conviction too you will come out of here and what would have made you cry you say satan you dare not try to scare me i just came out of a place of worship these kinds of miracles are not performed by men of god they are performed by worshipers those who know god because it is the people that do know their god not the people that answer the call you can answer the call and disgrace yourself and rubbish your ministry are we together imagine a dear man of god a, a man like this of repute of reputable standing writing an article against you as a young man that you came and scammed him you have destroyed your life and your ministry forever never stand before pharaoh until you see the burning bush are we together i'm doing this to challenge you this is not empty boast when you have seen him it's true we sing it but i'm bringing you into the experience of it could this be why god organized this program to challenge some of us to say stop playing life will not play games with you the challenges that will come before you they are real but the people who know their god shall be strong daddy i want to pray for you there might not be any way you are walking already there might not be any visible way of testing you now but i want you to know that god will change your life madam i'm saying it in the open thank god there's camera picking this now god will change the life of your husband and your life number two your finances i say it again your i'm not asking whether you are doing business that's not the issue but that god will step in sir please hold my hands these hands you see 
at the hands of a young man but there is an anointing on this hand that is ancient Jesus himself you see Jesus himself hold my hands I bring you the life and the power of the kingdom that we represent in the name of Jesus I command everything that stands before you stroke you are a spirit leave our daddy now in the name of Jesus Christ I command the moving object everything you see him shaking you see what is happening to him I see what is happening to him you can see the man shaking this is not me I mean how can you this is the anointing of the spirit you must know how to bring God host his presence and bring him it's not just by talking and shouting daddy yes. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. be perfected now Amen. be made whole now Amen. the movement in your body stops now Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. say I am healed. I'm healed check yourself sir check yourself lift your hand up down up down any pain again up down what's happening to you sir yes. are you feeling the movement in your body huh is that the movement in your body it, 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 it's move, it's moving for back movement in your body yes. in the name of jesus christ that movement will stop now huh Amen. what is it? what is happening are you feeling like fire here i'm touching you now yes. in the name of jesus christ i'm feeling fire on my hand the lord is touching you Amen. in jesus name now check yourself mama I don't know how would you check him now you help us check your husband but in the name of Jesus Christ ah, I, I'm looking at you we have to pray where are you from ma I'm seeing you crying I'm seeing obituary this is somebody from your family burial the month of September we have to cancel it I'm not a prophet of doom I'm looking at you ah what do you have to do with Adamawa State Yola you are from where Adama State. Where in Adama? Is it true, sir? Yes. Where in Adama State? Yola. Goes Yola. Yes. Because I'm seeing this happening in in Yola. Father, we cancel this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Daddy, yes. the Lord perfect your body Amen. completely Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Let me pray for you. That lady, this one holding your hands like this. You come. That lady is praying. And I'm hearing her prayer. She's saying, Lord, let this man speak over my life. Come. You are a member of this church here? You know, I love it when God touches the members of this church because you know them and you see the transformation in their lives. What do you do, my dear? I'm an Uber driver. What? Uber, Uber driver. Uber. What does that mean? Uber. Oh, Uber. Yes, I see. The Lord is going to shift you. I'm seeing fin a serious financial miracle. You believe this? Yes. This, this has nothing to do with your Uber. God just connecting you and shifting you. Father, let this happen by the Spirit. The anointing to make this happen, I release upon you. Please, just give me two minutes. We are done. I'm seeing somebody here. You are into... This, is, this has to do with manufacturing. Um, is a is business. Who, who is that person, please? You are into manufacturing. Seal is like you supply something. You work. I don't know if you work or you consult something that has to do with manufacturing. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. Please make sure you are not lying. You, what do you do? You, you supply where? What? What do you do? What do you supply? Popcorn, um, food. Uh, okay, I, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing what I'm seeing is is different. But let me pray for you. My dear, look at me. You believe that God will... Ah, the person I'm seeing is not very tall. This, this, is, this is a gentleman, not a lady. Okay, I, I don't know whether it's a lady. You're not very tall. It's the vision I'm seeing. Why did you sit quietly there? Come, God is changing your life. What do you do, sir? That's what I'm saying. Consumer goods. Where? In Lagos, here. What do you do? We produce kitchen fittings. We supply to people. Okay, I'll pray. I'll pray for you. But look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God is lifting you. Huh? My God is lifting you. I don't know what I'm seeing you do with secondary schools. Huh? Why is she laughing? Talk to us. What? 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 What do you have to do with secondary schools? I supply. You supply secondary schools. 
I'm seeing a particular school making you an official distributor of this in your school. I release that grace upon you right now. Let that anointing make this happen. Come, my dear. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that you do, I put an anointing on it. The Bible says, whatsoever he doeth, prosper. What do you do? You produce? Cards. Credit cards for banks. Credit cards for banks. You. All banks? All banks, Nigeria and West Africa. Nigeria and West Africa. That's what you do. That is where I work. Oh, that's where you work. Yes. You produce cards for banks. Let me pray for you. You need favor. You are in a place of opportunity. Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, something is coming upon you, sir. I'm seeing you two months and you are lifted. Two months. Two months. And your story, your life is changing like day and night. Sir, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God, by the Spirit of the Living God, be lifted to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lift you in a way that will surprise you. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. Whatever has refused to move in your life, by the Spirit of the Living God and tonight in this atmosphere of worship, I decree and declare that you are rising to a new dimension. You have spent time worshipping the King. You have spent time pouring your heart. In the name of Jesus, may the lifter of men visit you. Amen. Pastor, I'm seeing someone in your worship team going abroad. This is what, I don't know who that person is, but I'm seeing one of, of the ladies there. I don't know if it's like a permanent residency or something, but moving. This is in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever that is, I command that that happens hitch free. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's someone here, you, you are saving money to buy a car. You use more than two or three hundred thousand naira from it to do something and it's frustrating you because every time you gather money when it's closed, something must come and you take from it. You've been trusting God and it's for a good reason that you need the car. In the name of Jesus. You see, let me tell you, when God is ready to lift you, it's not about savings. He will push you by His Spirit and bring you into that reality in the name of jesus i pray for you now in the name of jesus let it happen for you Amen. just one more person and then i'm done i'm still here tomorrow by the way please invite all your friends and loved ones tomorrow is going to be an amazing time it's a brief service but then we're going to trust god i'll be teaching you something very powerful and then we're going to be praying your elder sister has been barren please who is that person the Lord just put it in my heart. We can't close this meeting. You are at the back. The rest can come, but this person I'm seeing, you are at the back. You are coming. Who is that person? Your elder sister. Please don't tell lies. Your direct elder sister. Who is that? Where is she? In Lagos here. Yeah. If you invite her to church, she won't come tomorrow. If you tell her God wants to visit her, can she make that sacrifice and come tomorrow? Please. I know that, of course, she should honor her church, but look how many people are standing just at this call. You have loved ones that are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Mm. I want you to believe this dear lady is crying. You're standing for yourself or for your sister? For who? My sister. Your sister, where is she? She's in Lagos. In Lagos, yeah. The devil is a liar. I hope there's no one here standing for himself or herself. I want to... You are standing for yourself. Join them. Can you give me two minutes, Pastor? Just to round up this. This is... I'm already touched. This barrenness thing is, is a demonic thing. My dear, you are standing for yourself. Okay. Don't, don't worry that you had the courage to stand. We will end this thing now. Amen. Yes. It's, it's not, it's, this is not guesswork. It is the devil. The Bible says how God anointed. Please, if you are standing for yourself, just stand here. Let me see you. If you are standing for um, your loved ones, I will still pray for you. But these are precious people who are standing here. The devil is a liar. We must take authority over that. Do you know why Satan tries to stop children? It's not about fibroid or whatever, all those medical things. The devil knows that there needs to be a generation that will call upon the name of the Lord. And the moment he sees believers who love God with all their heart, he will fight to make sure 
that children godly seeds are not raised that will call upon the name of the lord but brothers and sisters the devil will never stop our children from coming to praise the name of the lord the challenges and the battles that we fought we already got the victory for them are we together i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart just help me separate them we'll do this i know that many of you are standing but please put yourself in their shoes just give them two minutes let's trust god just separate them if you are standing for please for someone else just stand here don't feel bad i will still pray for you it doesn't mean we disregard your people but these are our precious people we need to agree with them i perceive god doing replicating what he did in abel Kota yesterday look how many people are you seeing how wicked satan is the bible says the enemy has done this whether it appears as a medical report or whatever mama you are standing for someone our mother um she's elderly come let me just pray for you so you sit down let's not keep her standing your daughter ma no 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 please stand up please stand up ma please stand up ma your son hold my hands ma where is he in the name of jesus christ lord jesus you who will make and can make a barren woman help her to be a joyful mother of children visit mama's son in the name of jesus according to the time of life we declare that this son returns with the children not just a child in jesus name look at me my precious sisters i love you with all my heart i know some of you are crying as i lay my hands upon you i want you to believe listen the bible says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt this thing is an election of grace it's not it's not it's not um you know sometimes i wish i'm not the one who has to do these things are we together but the lord is stepping in for you i don't care what the medical report is just take your eyes away from it and know that god is stepping in oh but they've prayed for me before men of god have prayed don't you worry to there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent anointings have to be sent not just that they come if there are people who if they are not sent to me as anointed as god has made me i can pray for them and nothing happens and a brother somewhere who is sent prays for them so it's not just any anointed person it is that you are sent he sent his word you can find the word but when it is sent it will accomplish certain things are we together where do i start from where are they here i'll just touch you and you go back rejoicing tell your husbands that they prayed for you don't just say i went to church let them know what god has done for you in the name of jesus lord let it be over in the name of jesus go and return with your child my dear in the name of jesus look what is happening to her i curse that spirit now let her go i release your womb be a mother of children i command you be fruitful now 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 i cast the hand of witchcraft and wickedness release her now look what is happening to her it's over gone be ready for your children in the name of jesus my dear i pray for you by the power of the spirit the god who quickened hannah the god who quickened rachel may he quicken you right now by the spirit of the living god go and carry your children in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you quickly my dear in the name of jesus reproach is over over in your life i change that medical report and i declare that your womb can carry seed and keep seed in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus madam you are standing for yourself for yourself how long have you been married for nine years no child my god you believe that if i pray for you you carry a child you're a member of this church do well to come and testify when it happens place your hand there i'm seeing a baby girl coming then a baby boy following in the name of jesus christ i declare that your womb is opened by the spirit in the name of jesus my dear i pray for you um i love you but the lord is talking to me about your relationship with him this is not the lord is not even talking to me about pregnancy issue your relationship please don't feel embarrassed but you need to surround yourself with people who love god and don't get suggestions from people it's not every place of prayer that is goable in the name of jesus christ may the lord open your womb and cause you to be a joyful mother of children in the name of jesus quickly i pray for you put your hand on your stomach 
in the name of Jesus the Lord is settling you right now by the spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ ah look I'm, I've not even touched and I'm already seeing something like a snake leaving you in the name of Jesus let it be over O oh God by the message of the God of David in the name of Jesus Christ come my dear in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus you will feel fire on your stomach even while you go back to your seat that lady in the name of Jesus let it be over in the name of Jesus let it be over sir you're standing for yourself it's for a friend from Namibia in the name of Jesus the distance it doesn't matter whether it's America or wherever you're for yourself where's your wife she do, she just left in the name of Jesus I changed that medical report and I decree and declare do you work where do you work an insurance firm how long have you been there six years I'm seeing you moving to a higher place it's another company it's another company not just the insurance firm huh I'm seeing God lifting you go and write it and take notes you're standing for yourself you love Jesus I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ let captivity be gone forever yourself yourself in the name of Jesus is your wife here in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God all of you standing here I pray for you please don't feel bad that I'm not making contact with you I just want you to believe in the name of Jesus my brother look at me this gentleman what do you do I want to pray you're having serious problems in your business you need a miracle huh you need a miracle you are owing and there is serious business but the Lord is saying I should tell you in 80 days as I speak to you the Lord is changing your story Amen. in a way that will surprise you Amen. there is a friend in your life that God is taking out of your life he will Amen. continue to cause trouble for you some of these friends are not good people you are not truly born again if your friends don't change don't say it doesn't matter it does matter blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful i stretch my hands over all of you right now and i decree and declare by the spirit of the living god that even in this night of worship may my god grant all the people that you stand representing that he will cause them to be joyful mothers of children and fathers of children whatever the medical reports are we veto it by the blood of jesus and we decree and declare that you all return with your testimonies in jesus name god bless you i pray for everyone here tonight as you return back home return to meet miracles in the name of jesus christ some of you even before tomorrow's service you will come here with tears of joy in your eyes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the spirit of the living god that everything you worshiped god laying down here you will not go back with it you will leave it right here and walk back victorious may the lord bless you and may the lord honor you in jesus name.